let me tell you what the biggest problem is with uh, a lot of management today and you know I don't care if it's like uh, a steel mill that someone works in you know you go get a job at or uh, it doesn't matter a football team you play for uh, whatever the case may be you know and in business especially uh, you know people have such low self esteem out there and this is the reason why they settle for what they settle for they don't think they can do anything more with their life because they've been brought up with such uh, order and you know like just structure in their lives where it's the the same pedigree go to school uh, graduate get your degree whatever or just go get a job you know or go to college get your degree there then go get a job because uh, you'll have a more high paying job and then you're still giving a top out on whatever it is that you get paid no matter what as as long as you're working for someone else going and getting a job but you know the biggest problem I see in management uh, one of the biggest problems is uh, that hurts the mindset the uh, you know the the attitude the morale within a company or a team or uh, a workplace is uh, you know coaches praise their players and a good leader a good man you know management team or manager of a company or whatever the coach you know the case may be uh, will praise the their their workers or praise their players a good football coach knows to praise his players uh, and when he does this you know they're going to play at the their top level all the time because he's got them thinking you know what i mean one day they're going to win, win the heisman trophy or at least the state championship or you know uh, get some get some scholarship to a big school because he's all the time pointing out what they're good at their good qualities the things they're good at not the you know always uh, uh gosh you know the normal out here in management and out of some coaches and this that and other you know m just leaders you know they're bad leaders all they do is criticize uh everyone try to critique everyone and you know there are such things you know as um destructive uh criticism you know or constructive criticism my bad but you know there's a limit on that okay guys there there's so many people who are just cutting people down for no reason other than just to make themselves feel better or you know you have some football coaches out here who think that uh they should be criticizing everything that you do and that failure's bad this that and other so that uh, they think that if they criticize everything that it'll bring the best out in the player and the player will be like okay bad Don't fumble the ball won't do that again. You know what I mean? And it's just not the case half the time You're, you're hurting the players ego and if you're a business owner and you have employees You're hurting your employees ego all the time and they're not gonna perform at their best level I promise you they're not until you and you know you ain't gotta like make it all fake People can tell when you're being fake, you know actually point out the things that they're good at don't just criticize them non-stop don't criticize every little freaking thing that they do uh tell them good job you know sit down and have a talk with them like you actually care and you know find out what their goals are what their dreams are what their ambitions are what it is they're set out to do in life you know what i mean and i've you'll find that you get such better results you will you'll get so much better results if you'll actually get to know some people you know 99% of business transactions that are done, uh, that is the only communication that happens in between uh, that sale, that person, uh, and the customer. Like the, the business owner who sells the product and the customer buying the product, that's the only time they'll ever speak. There's never a follow-up after that. They never do anything nice for them after that. You know, they just get their money and run. And this is the problem in the business world nowadays is people can see straight through it like they know that all you want is your money in the run business has to be about something more than just money guys it has to be about something bigger and more than just money okay you have to find something uh you know that you're passionate about there has to be some sort of passion in what you're doing not just about the freaking paper you know i'm not a business owner and entrepreneur uh to do with just money never was guys never was yeah i wanted to do something more make more all that good stuff but i promise you it, it is the freedom that i get it's the time with my family that i get it's the good feeling i get it's me getting to be my own boss set my own hours do my own thing and build up the business of my dreams and that's what i love and you ought to be doing the same thing too you know what i mean and if you're not you can i just want to tell you you can 
okay? Don't let anybody tell you that you can't build the business of your dreams. Don't let some jack A at where you work cut you down and tell you that you're worthless and you can't do anything, uh, that you suck. Guys, I, it's been me before. When I first went and worked on an oil rig, that's what they told me. Look at me now. I'm my own boss now and I don't need them for crap. Now then, who's doing the laughing? I'm laughing at those guys and at every other job I've ever worked at. You know, some of them I feel bad for because they don't know any better. They don't know the difference. But some of these guys, you know, they kind of deserve what they get because it's all they do is go around trashing other people in order to make themselves feel better. You, your employees, everyone would perform a lot better if you got more uh, pats on the back, more gratitude, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you know, just more praise, you know, just, just it would increase your employees or your players if you're a football coach or some form of coach uh, it would increase your players morale and they would play or work harder smarter better and i promise you at their full potential you just get so much more out of them for your dollar that you're paying them or for you know in that win column if you're a coach i promise you i promise you i promise you Gosh, I've played on winning teams, I've played on losing teams. I've worked at sucky jobs and suckier jobs, and I've had good jobs, you know what I mean? Like, I've done it all, guys, and I run my own business now, and I'm telling you right now, you gotta change the way you're doing things. Change the way you, it's not rocket science. It's not rocket science, but, you know, what you do on a daily basis as a manager or as a leader, uh, you know, it's affecting the mindset of not just you, but the people who are working for you or the players who are playing for you, you know, whoever it is that you're leading out there in life, start pumping them up a little more. Give them a little more praise. Tell them good job a little bit more. A lot more, actually. And see. Just come back and see if it doesn't completely change things for you. See if you don't go get a state championship ring. Actually talk to your players about their personal life. One-on-one, -on -one, bring them in the office and actually talk to them. Or if you're an employer, go out there and talk to some of your employees actually bring them in the office set them down like you actually care find out what their goals dreams ambitions are get to know them a little bit you know go out there and give them a cookie or a, a piece of candy every now and then and give them a hug tell them you love them you know actually show that you care a little bit hey just see if it don't change things for you all right guys that's it for me today i'm out